Hi, I am Aliza Tanvir from Skillcurb. In this video, you will learn how to use the match clause on outgoing relationships, how to use the match clause on relationships to get their types, how to use the match clause on relationships whose type is known and how to use the match clause on multiple relationships types. The match clause in Neo4j is mostly used for searching. The match clause allows you to specify the patterns of nodes or relationships the Neo4j will search for in the database. It is most frequently used with a WHERE clause. So before moving to words, how to use a relationship, we are assuming that you already seen the video on how to use the match clause on nodes in which we create a dummy graph database to run our queries on. So let's start by seeing how to use the match clause on different type of relationship. Firstly, we will use the match clause on the outgoing relationship. So in order to find the outgoing relationships of a node, we can use the following cipher query. In this query, we are using the match clause and inside the match clause, we are passing a label having a person and the name property set to Oliver Stone. And this arrow represents the outgoing relationship towards a node movie. So this query is going to find all the nodes having the label person and the name properties Oliver Stone having an outgoing relationship with a node movie. So all the movie nodes that are connected to this person label node with an outgoing relationship will be returned. Okay, so execute the query and you will get a single node Wall Street that is related to the node having the label person and the name properties Oliver Stone. It is also possible to introduce a variable to a pattern either for filtering on relationship properties or to return a relationship types. Here comes a second type where we can use the match clause is to find the relationship types. Thus, in order to find the relationship type, we can use the following cipher query. In this query, we are using the match clause and inside the match clause, we are again using a node having the label person and the name property set to Oliver Stone. And this is the relation variable that we are using to define an outgoing relationship to a node movie. So the relationship that exists between this node having the label person and the node movie will be stored in the variable R and then we can simply return the type of R to get the relationship type that exists between these two nodes. Okay, so let's execute the query and the relationship type returned to you will say directed. This means that there is a directed relation between the node having the label person and the node movie. Another way to use the match clause is to match on the relationship type. When the relationship type to match on is known, it is possible to specify it by using a colon before the relationship type. And this can be done by using the following cipher query. In this query, we are using a node having the name Wall Street and a label movie. And the property title has a value of Wall Street. Then this arrow shows that there is an incoming relationship which says acted in with a node actor. So we are returning the name actor name. So in this query, the match clause is going to find the node having the label movie and the title properties Wall Street having an incoming relationship with a node actor that has a relationship type of acted in. Okay, so once I execute the query, it is going to return me the actor name that ha that acted in the movie Wall Street. Okay, let's execute the query and you can see that it has returned me three actors that have an acted in relationship with the movie. Okay, so we can also run it to see the actual node as well. We can do so by once again executing the query and here using the variable R to store the relationship and then simply returning Wall Street, the relationship R, and the actor. Okay, so ex execute the query. And now you can see the output in the form of a graph where the movie Wall Street has three actors having an incoming relationship of acted in with them. It is also possible for a node to have multiple type of relationships with other nodes and we can also do searching for them using the match clause. To use the match clause on nodes having multiple relationship types, we can use this cipher query. 
here we are using the match clause and inside the match clause we are using the wall street node having the title property of wall street and it has an incoming relationship of acted in or directed in with a node person so this query is going to return us all the person nodes which have an outgoing relationship of either acted in or directed in with the wall street so in simple word this query is going to return me all the nodes that have either an acted in or directed in relationship with the movie wall street okay so let's execute the query and you can see that we have three different nodes that have an acted in relationship with the node wall street and we have a single node of oliver stone which have a directed relationship with the wall street and this is how you can use the match clause on relationships to get the single relationship a relationship with a type and relationship with multiple types that is all for this video thank you